How's it going guys? Pikachu gone rogue. Today we've got a lovely build. It's the new assault rifle called the Chimera. Now this assault rifle has been taken the whole game by surprise. Um, it is one of the best assault rifles that are currently out there. It, is, it plays almost as a submachine gun. Um, the only downside I have experienced with this assault rifle so far is the long range uh, capabilities of it. Um, long range this gun has been a struggle to perform just on the basis of how much um, the gun moves about. Um, that just may be with the setup I've gone for but that's just how I've been feeling with it. Um, however this has got one of the quickest aim down the sights that I've felt on some assault rifles um, and it is just a lovely build to use. So to unlock this assault rifle um, you either have to extract it from the DMZ um, building 21 I believe or you just play I think 4 to 15 games and get two assault rifle kills in those 15 games um, it's not that hard but yeah so let's just get through it so the suppressor I feel like it's the best thing to go with this it just feels a lot better um, sounds a lot better it does increase your um, where is it? it does increase your damage your fire uh, your range a bit of accuracy and recoil control as well um, I have tuned this for aim down the sight speed and aiming stability one of the reasons why is just because shipments out so you know everyone's just been playing 24 7 shipment but also because the way this gun plays it's an assault it feels like a submachine gun so you want to be able to snap in snap out real quick um, however if you, that's not for you and you want to try go over the more AR route then you, you should just put it to recoil smoothness because um, that does sort of fix it about um, for the barrel we've gone with the SA Phoenix um, increased damage range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, and the recoil control. So, like I said, bit of recoil control just to calm down the amount of um, I believe it's like vertical and horizontal recoil that's um, on the gun. It does decrease your aim down sight speed, but even with that little decrease, we can still snap in and snap out real quick. Um, we then go with the Sigma IV optic. Um, it's one of my favorite sights to use. Um, it doesn't take up too much of your screen, allows for a clearer picture rather than using the barrel sight, uh, the iron sights, even though there's not that much issue with the iron sights, um, it does allow for a better uh, feeling and gameplay. Um, I have tuned this just to be a bit more close to the scope and to also increase your aim down sight speed. Um, for the stock, we've gone over the TRX-56, um, this increases your aiming stability, recoil control, however, it does decrease your movement speed for your crouching so and your sprint speed. So if you are one of them people who love to drop shot, this may not be the stock for you. And you may want to go with the other one, which is more designed for that snap in, snap out kind of feeling. Um, and then finally to finish off with, we've got it with a 45 round mag. Reason being, the fire rate on this gun is insane. Um, you know, If you're rush rocking with a normal magazine, chances are you will be running out of ammo at the wrong times. So 45 rounds of mag allows us to ensure that we always have bullets in the gun before we die. So that is the build for the most part guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave you with the video. And if you've got any other suggestions for me in the future, then please let me know. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Shut your mouth. Look at the Shut up. That's it. Look at the Shut up. Wow. That's how you're going to treat me, yeah? Shut up. Say now. Keep that same energy. Shut up. Push. Push you. 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 Push Man, friend, is that what we're doing? Is that what we're doing?
I don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what, what are you saying now? What are you saying now? 